This episode of Film Ride is brought to you by Squarespace and the National Fight Against Drunk Driving. Over the limit, I hope you get tased. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques that go into your favorite Hollywood films. Today we're going to blah, 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 I'm a moron. Ah, that is how I say it. <laughs> I know. Spot on, Josh. So really, what's this episode about? Well, for the first half, I'm going to show how to make a homemade dolly. Like a Cabbage Patch Kid? Go die. That was a legitimate question. A camera dolly, fart huffer. Anyway, second half... Audio tips. Nice. I thought so. Fart huffer? What you got You will meet the love of your life today. Keeping it. You will come into a large sum of money. <laughs> I can live with that. Your lucky numbers are 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, and 42. Turn it around. Huh? No, fine. What about you? What'd you say? Uh, nothing special. Ah, I getcha. You say it out loud and it doesn't come true. Button your shirt up. It's sexy. In the beginning, Adam bites the apple. In 1903, the first narrative film is made. In 93, Spielberg says, F you to evolution. And in 2009, Film Ride is released to the world. Want to be a filmmaker? Well, so do I. Let's figure it out. We're going to be following trying films from pre to post production as we make our latest short film tell. Along the way, we're going to be showing you how to accomplish great effects with little to no budget. And every now and again, we'll be jumping over to Full Sail University to get you advice from the pros. So grab some popcorn and get comfortable. This is Film Riot. Uh, <clears throat> yes, um, so we got another email, uh, from Jason, and the email said, I would love to do shots like you can get when you use a dolly, but I don't have thousands to spend. What are my options? I've seen tons of different DIY builds online for years, but I never really took the time to build one myself, so I thought this would be a fun one to tackle. All right, so now Bruno and Josh are going to walk us through all the things we need to start building our dolly. The first thing... Sorry guys. My bad. Hello. Are you serious? Oh my god. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god. Okay. What happened? Every one of my family's dead. Oh wow. Literally everyone. Parents, grandparents, siblings, a cousin I've never even met before. They're all dead. Oh my god. I get all the inheritance money. I'm freaking rich. Booyah! That's terrible. Terribly awesome. Jet skis. You will come into a large sum of money. I can live with that. Holy crap. Holy crap is right. How about this? Starbucks on me to celebrate, huh? I'll pick it up if you give me your car, Captain. <laughs> Sounds good, sailor. Hey, are we gonna build this dolly or what? Um, yeah. We used one piece of birch wood, two three-foot angle aluminum, four four-inch carriage bolts, 12 skateboard wheels, 12 two-inch carriage bolts, about 68 washers, 16 nuts, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> and two pieces of PVC, which can also be used for other fun activities. Next, we measured and drilled four holes in the board and two holes in each angle aluminum to match up. Then, measured and drilled six more holes in each piece of angle aluminum for the wheels. To get the wheels on, use the two-inch carriage bolts. Then put on one washer, then the wheel, then three more washers, then thread through the aluminum, then another washer, then tighten it on using the bolt. Repeat this for all the other wheels until you have this. Finally, attach your finished rails to the board using the four inch carriage bolts and you're done. So now that we got the platform built, we're gonna take the two PVC pipes and put them down as track, then put the platform on top of the track, then the tripod and the camera on top of the platform, and as soon as Josh gets back here, we'll do some test shots. You're not going to believe this. You are not going to believe who I just met. Where's the coffee? I'm glad you asked. Megan Fox. The Fox? Megan freaking Fox. Yeah, freaking right. It's true. She's the love of my life, man. You won't meet the love of your life today. Keeping it. 
Oh, that's not good. I disagree. Dude, so do I. What? It's Jennifer's body! One thing we forgot to mention is to always wear safety glasses. And if you don't have any, you can use reading glasses or sunglasses. But whenever you're using tools of any kind, you should be protecting your eyes. So don't be an idiot, Bruno. Because without them, something could shoot into your eyes and blind you. Or you can <laughs> Soda back on? Both of them? Yeah, both of them. Modern medicine, huh? I guess. What's this? Are those fingers? Yep. Brutus. You learned a valuable lesson in safety today. Drinking and driving doesn't mix. And if I really have to tell you that, you probably have lower IQ than the bottle you're drinking from. The message is simple. Over the limit, under arrest. Law enforcement officers are gonna be cracking down on all you MFers that decide to drink and drive from August 21st through Labor Day weekend. So if you don't care about jail time, hacked up insurance rates, or most importantly, hurting someone else, you are a douche. But if you do care, take a taxi, get a designated driver, take a bus, or I don't know, don't drink. I mean, if you can't have fun without getting drunk, your personality probably sucks and you should just stay home watching some personality booster videos. Then you could get drunk all you want and not worry about anything. Because you're home already. Just a tip from me to you. Take it or leave it. Film right? Quick tips! Audio is one of the most important things when making a film, and unfortunately, too many low-budget films do not give audio the attention it needs when in production. One of the first things to keep in mind for good audio is your microphone. I personally favor the shotgun mic, but another thing you can use is a lavalier mic, also known as the lapel mic. But for these purposes today, we're just gonna talk about the shotgun mic. To use your shotgun mic, you're gonna need a boom pole and a shock mount. But if you don't have the cash to buy one, you could always just modify a broomstick or a painter's pole. Once you have the mic on the pole, have your boom operator hold it above the actor that's speaking and get it as close to them as they can without getting into frame. Then make sure the tip of the mic is pointed at the actor's mouth and that your levels are good before you start shooting. If you have to use the mic that's on the camera, try to get as close to your actor as possible to help improve the audio. Film right, quick taps! All right, we good, that's it. Cool, thanks guys. Ah! Death is at your doorstep. What? Death is at your doorstep. How do you know that? Because he's at your front door right now. It's me! <laughs> Dude, sweet costume. Thanks. I bought it with all my new money. <laughs> Dude, let me try it on. Squarespace is a publishing system for anyone looking to build a blog, portfolio, or any other kind of website. And Squarespace, being the amazing team that they are, have built Chinese Films an incredible new site layout that we have just launched today. So now I can go in and adjust size, color, and positioning of all the elements in my site without having to know any coding at all. And they've made it insanely easy to keep all my content up to date as well. So check out tryinfilms.com and leave a comment in the news section to let us know what you think. Then jump over to squarespace.com and get your site started. And if you do, don't forget to represent by using the promo code FILMRIOT so you can get 10% off the life of your order. And that's it. Uh, you can email me at filmwriter at revision3.com or check out my Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Ryan underscore Conley. Or if you want, check out the Facebook and I'll respond if I'm still alive. What? Um, Dude, I just won a freaking lotto. I use the fortune cookie numbers. <laughs> oh my God probably not going to see you next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>